As those of you who want to, would you like to volunteer? Let the experience this? Grab a chair. Ma'am, you want to experience it? Grab a chair. Have a seat up there. Anyone else want to experience it? Go, go for it. It's up to you, ma'am. You don't have to if you don't want. You want to experience it? Give these guys a round of applause. Yeah, we'll save some time here. Thank you so much. I don't know how to get up there myself, so. Do I walk around back there? Is everything okay? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a question? Just grab a chair wherever you like, folks. Yes. Why don't you go up there and find out? Bye. Want to experience it? Don't have to if you don't want. <laughs> All right, we got plenty of chairs up there, I think. Okay, here we go. Ah. <laughs> All right, getting up on this stage is kind of interesting, isn't it? Beautiful, you guys have separated yourselves very nicely. We may be short a few chairs, just one is least. You know where I could dig up just one more chair? I'll tell you what, if you, why don't you, if you don't mind, you don't want to do that, I'll tell you, <laughs> you'll see why in a little while. Why don't we sit you on the floor for just, just for now? And let me tell you why, if you don't mind, just for now, I'll explain why, in all likelihood, there may be one or two of these folks that were, for whatever reason, snap out of it. Some people get nervous and some people just lose their concentration. But if I could slide you guys a little bit closer so you're sitting next to each other. Has anyone up here ever been hypnotized? Is this a new experience you have? You have. For the rest of you, it's a brand new experience, correct? All right, here's what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Obviously, as I mentioned, I was doing these little tests to find who would appear to be very good visualizers. The better than average hypnotic subjects that anywhere from eight to 10% of the very good visualizers. These folks, as you observe them, their arms would rise straight up in the air. You ask a good visualizer to imagine holding 100 balloons with strings, the arms will often rise straight up into the air. Observe what happens when good visualizers are now asked to visualize something totally different. Uh, there's only a few of you up here, but you, ma'am, have never been hypnotized, correct? And your name is? And Megan, are you hypnotized right now? Are you wide awake? Are you sure? Great. See these, <laughs> see these spotlights up here? Would you put on the spotlights and just look at them? And you, you're definitely wide awake, right? Glad to hear that. Take a nice deep breath for me, would you? Beautiful. Sleep, Megan. Way down deep. Five. <laughs> deep. More relaxed. Sleep. Drop down deep, 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 deep. Loosen limp, loosen limp. Loosen limp. Keep going deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper to sleep. Keep going deeper and deeper until I ask you to wake up. Excellent. So your first name is? And you're wide awake, right? Let me show you a neat trick here, Tom. See these spotlights? Would you pick just one of them? Take a nice deep breath for me. Remember how relaxed you were just a few seconds ago? Remember that relaxation? Remember it? Sleep. Deep sleep. More and more relaxed. More and more relaxed. Deeper and more relaxed. Deeper and more relaxed. Sleep. Way down. Loose and limp. Loose and limp. Loose and limp. Deeper and more relaxed. I'm going to do my best to explain to you folks what it is you are actually seeing. Your first name, oh, you are shaking. Look at you, are you nervous? You're cold. Okay, well, I can correct that too in just a few minutes. Your first name is? Sleep. Way down deep, loosen, way down deep, relax, deeper, more relax. Your first name, sir? Sleep, way down deep, sleep, way down deep, deeper. Drop down, sleep now, loosen limp, loosen limp, loosen limp, loosen limp, loosen limp. I don't think you're cold, you are shaking. You're cold too? Is it cold up here? I'm, I'm not noticing if it is, but it is. Your first name, ma'am? Courtney. Courtney, are you hypnotized? Do me a favor, see that light up there, take a nice deep breath. Sleep. Wait, deep, deeper, more and more relaxed. Drop down, let your legs relax, let your arms relax, let your shoulders relax. Sleep, wait, loosen it. Loosen limp, sleep, deeper, deeper, more and more relaxed, more and more relaxed. Loosen limp. Do you two know each other? You do, well shake hands because you're about to know each other better than you ever thought you would, so may as well take advantage of it. Your first name? And Jackie, Jackie, Jackie are you, can I have your hand in? Let go, Jesus. <laughs> Jackie, are you hypnotized? Are you sure? Positive? Positive? Good. Sleep. Loosen it. Sleep. Wait a minute. Loosen it. Deep. Sleep. Wait a minute. Five. Deeper, deeper, deeper. More relaxed. You're all doing beautiful. More and more relaxed. More and more relaxed. And you in a weird position, were you? Did it hurt? Okay, let's slide your chair over here for just a little bit. Would you mind? Thank you so much. 
and drop deeper, 10 times deeper, sleep, 20 times deeper, sleep, loosen limbs, sleep deeper and more relaxed. And I just want you to keep going deeper and deeper with each and every breath you take, deeper with each and every breath you take. I awaken you. Thank you so much for your help. Sleep. Deeper, more relaxed, loosen limp, loosen limp, loosen limp. <laughs> deeper and deeper now, more and more relaxed, more and more relaxed. Did they find a chair for you? All right. More and more. How you doing, ma'am? You okay? Sleep, 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 sleep. Drop down deep, 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 deep. All in. Loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp. Hi, your first name? Charlene. Pretty weird, huh? Yeah. Are you hypnotized, Charlene? No. You sure? Positive? Yeah. Glad to hear it. Sleep. Deep. More relaxed. More and more relaxed. Sleep deeper, deeper, deeper. Can I get you guys to slide a little bit closer so you don't fall down? Just a little bit. Yeah, slide yourself. Hey, how you doing, guy? Thank you so much. Would you all pick that spot up there? Just look at it. Take a nice deep breath from me. Breathe in deeply. And sleep. Wait. Oh, deeper, deeper. More and more relaxed. Loosen limp. Loosen up your first name. Mike. Mike. How you doing, Mike? Your first name. So you've already been there, right? So you know what it feels like, right? Loosen limp. Loosen up and sleep. Mike. Sleep. Deep, deep, sleep. Drop down. Deeper. Deeper. More relaxed. More relaxed. Pretty bizarre, huh? <laughs> You're all concentrating perfectly now. I'm going to touch your shoulders. I touch your shoulder, drop twice as deep. As I touch your shoulder, drop twice as deep as sleep. Twice as deep. There you go. Twice as deep as sleep. Deeper. Sleep. Twice as deep. Drop down deeper. Sleep. Twice as deep. Twice as deep. Twice as deep. And twice as deep. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to use our imagination. We're going to concentrate on those lights. Only the person who showed I'm touching. We're going to concentrate on those big spotlights and just remember how warm they are. Feel those lights. Those nice, warm comfortable lights. Feel the rays of those lights on your legs, your arms. Just keep concentrating on those nice, warm, comfortable floodlights. And what you'll discover, the person who showed I'm touching, that the temperature starts rising and becoming more and more comfortable, more and more relaxed, until soon the temperature in this room is perfect. Sleep twice as deep. As I touch your shoulders, sleep, sleep, and sleep. Only the person who showed I'm touching now. Just keep concentrating on those nice, bright, warm lights, just like a heat lamp. Just like you see sometimes at a fast food restaurant where they keep food warm. Not hot, but just nice, and warm, and comfortable. Just perfect, perfect, perfect temperature. And twice as deep sleep. There you go. You're all concentrating perfectly, beautifully. You know what? We're not anywhere near as deep as we can go. In just a few minutes, we're going to go 10 times deeper to sleep. Imagine what that's going to feel like if you were 10 times deeper, 10 times more relaxed. And I'll tell you how we can do it. In a moment, I'm going to start counting slowly backwards from five to one. As I count backwards, I just want you to use your amazing imaginations. And I just want you to imagine with each and every number, every number I count, you'll feel yourself relaxing even more. You'll feel the tension draining right out of your body. You'll feel every muscle and fiber in your body becoming loose and limp and relaxed and wonderful. We're just going to let all the tension go so deep into relaxation that by the time I reach the number one, by the time I reach the number one, your body is as relaxed and as loose as a handful of rubber bands that have just been tossed into that chair. Boy, is that going to feel good. And we're going to start in just a few minutes by taking a nice deep breath. Your first name again, ma'am, is? Mel. Mel, and did you pick a spot to look at? Would you put your feet down on the floor if you don't mind? You're wide awake, right? Yeah. Just want to check. Take a nice deep breath. Everybody, fill your lungs with air. And exhale all the way down as you exhale completely. We're going to start going deeper. Five. That's right. Let your legs relax. Feel the muscles in your legs loosening. Just feel that tension draining, draining, draining. Your legs are very relaxed. Your feet totally limp and loose and relaxed. Feel so good, so comfortable that we're going to drop down now even deeper. Four. That's right. Let that relaxation spread now through the muscles of your stomach and your back. Tension just draining out of your body now. You can feel yourself going very deep, very deep, very deep, very deep. And now we're going to drop even deeper. Three. Let your shoulders drop down. Let your arms get heavy and limp and loose and relaxed. Deep sleep, deep sleep. Dropping deeper, 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 deeper. And two. And now that relaxation is spreading into your neck. Your neck's relaxing, your head feels so relaxed, so heavy, 
heavy. Your heavy head just dropping deeper, 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 deeper. Sleep. Wait. And one. Now we're going to let all the tension just drain out of the muscles in your jaws, all the muscles in your face, all the muscles around your eyes, the, all those little tiny muscles around your eyelids, limp and relax, the muscles in your head, and every single muscle from the very top of your head to the very tip of your toes. Sleep so deep, so relaxed, so deep, so relaxed, and you're going deeper with every breath you take sleep deeper down with every breath you take sleep deep sleep loose and limp deep relaxing sleep loose and limp loose and limp loose and limp and relax just keep going deeper and even if you're sitting out in the audience just keep going deeper and deeper more and more relaxed deeper and deeper until I ask you to awaken from this moment forward, any sounds you hear take you deeper. Any sounds from the audience will take you deeper. Any laughter takes you deeper. If someone makes a noise, it takes you deeper. You just go deeper, sleep, deeper, sleep, deeper, deeper, more and more relaxed, sleep, loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp and relax. You are concentrating perfectly. All right, I want to explain to you what it is you all are seeing. You get people to visualize holding 100 balloons, and if that image goes into their subconscious mind, their arm acts like they're holding 100 balloons. The image in their mind now is completely loose and limp and relaxed, as if they were relaxed like a handful of rubber bands. What's the net result of that visualization? Well, these people are clearly <laughs> pretty darn relaxed. I mean, you see absolutely zero tension in their body. These people are holding no tension whatsoever in their body. They are, in effect, as relaxed as human beings can be <laughs> and still be taking a breath. This is relaxation at its very best. Most of you in this room are too young to suffer from any kind of stress-related problems, but trust me, at some point in your career, you may find that you have trouble getting to sleep at night or you get all tense and nervous. A lot of people get nervous, attention, headaches, stomach problems, etc. If you master this aspect of this visualization, this ability to profoundly relax, a lot of you will learn this could really help you through your life. Get to sleep better at night, be relaxed throughout the day. If you do nothing more than the relaxation part of this technique, it is in and of itself very valuable. And again, they are this relaxed because of what they're visualizing, what they're picturing. Loose and limp and relaxed produces loose and limp and relaxed. What's the opposite of loose and limp and relaxed? Well, that would kind of be stiff and rigid, wouldn't it? I want you all to concentrate in a moment. You're going to feel me lift your arm as I extend your arm. I want you to imagine that arm is locking into place in front of you. As I extend your arm, you will feel that arm locking like a bar of steel in front of you. Concentrate. Imagine the arm locking, locking, locking. Concentrate. The arm stiff and rigid, stiff and rigid, stiff and rigid. As I extend your arm, stiff like a bar of steel. Concentrating. Stiff and rigid, stiff and rigid, stiff like a bar of steel. As I extend your arm, concentrate. Stiff like a bar of steel. As I extend your arm, locking into place. As I extend that arm, it's con stiff, stiff, locking into place. Stiff Stiff and rigid like a bar of steel. Concentrate stiff like a steel bar welded into your shoulder. Stiff and rigid, stiff and rigid, stiff and rigid. Concentrate stiff, stiff like a bar of steel. Stiff, more stiff, more stiff. Rigid, rigid, rigid like a steel bar. Concentrate stiff and rigid, stiff and rigid, stiff and rigid. <laughs> As I count back from three to one, the arm becomes more stiff, more rigid, more stiff, more rigid. So stiff, so rigid. When I reach number one, you'll discover you can't lower it. So stiff, so rigid. When I reach number one, you'll discover you cannot lower that arm no matter how hard you try until I clap my hands. When I reach number one, it's as stiff as a bar of steel. Concentrate. Three, stiff as a bar of steel. Would you take your arm and just extend it outward? As your arm is extended, stiff, 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 locked into place. Stiff like a bar of steel. More stiff, more rigid, more stiff, more rigid. Three, stiff and rigid like a bar of steel. Two, welded to your shoulder, welded to your shoulder, welded to your shoulder. Three, two, end. One. So rigid, so stiff, so stiff and rigid, you'll discover even as you try to lower that arm now, it will not go down. You can press down as hard as you like, but the harder you press, the more stiff and rigid it gets. The harder you press, the more impossible it becomes. Try, try as hard as you can. It's like a bar of steel, stiff and rigid. Feel me pressing down on it, but it still remains stiff and rigid. Stiff and rigid, you're not trying hard enough. Stiff and rigid, try as hard as you can. Stiff, rigid, 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 like a bar of steel. You are not trying hard enough. Try harder, stiff and rigid. Feel it's important. Stiff, 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 like a bar of steel. Stiff, stiff, like a bar of steel. Welded, 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 welded to your shoulder. Stiff and rigid, rigid and stiff, stiff and rigid. The harder you try, as I press down on it, stiff, rigid, rigid and stiff, stiff like a bar of steel, so stiff and rigid, you cannot lower that arm. Let me explain what it is you are seeing here. 
This is known as catalepsy. These folks now, in their minds, see their arm as a bar of steel. It is now acting as if it were a bar of steel. I usually bring a volunteer up to save time this morning. I'm not going to do it. I'll ask someone from the audience to come up and actually press down on their arms. And I'll pick a guy first, and I'll say, press down on this guy's arm. And they're going, my goodness, that's amazing. And I'll say, well, as amazing as that is, pick a woman's arm and press down on hers. Because we've always been taught that females have less upper body strength than men do. Not true. These arms are every bit as stiff and rigid. And it's a really serious type of rigidity. If you try to make your arm stiff and rigid, most people, if you press down on it, it feels very squishy and loose. These guys are like steel bars. It's hard to believe how much strength these folks are able to exert. Not only that, they can keep their arms like that literally for an hour or more with little or no discomfort. And the reason they can do that is because in their mind, they see it as a steel bar, so they are acting as if it's a bar of steel. This goes back to the vision concept. When you get an idea, a picture, an image in your mind, and you say, that's what I'm shooting for, you focus on it like a laser beam, and you stop paying attention to any problems or objections or pain or difficulties. You stay focused, and you're able to use much, much more of your brain power by staying focused using visualization. In a moment, I'm going to clap my hands. The instant I clap my hands, your arms drop. The instant your arms drop, you fall twice as deep as you are right now. That's right, twice as deep. Three, two, one, sleep, 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 deeper, more relaxed, more sleep, more, more relaxed, deeper, more relaxed, deeper, more relaxed. <clears throat> Let me show you how you can control your emotions with this. It really is fascinating. You're all falling deeper and deeper sleep, deeper and deeper sleep, deeper and deeper sleep. In a moment, when I touch your shoulders, start laughing, laughing, laughing. I touch your shoulders, start laughing, laughing, laughing. I touch your shoulders, laughing, funnier and funnier, laughing, 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 funny, funny, laughing, 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 funnier and funnier and funnier, funnier, laughing, 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 funnier and funnier. It's getting funnier and funnier, more and more hilarious, funnier and funnier, funniest thing in the whole world. Laughing, 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 laughing. You are having laughing harder, laughing harder, harder and harder, harder and harder, funnier, 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 funnier. The harder you laugh, the better you feel. The harder you laugh, the better. Funnier, 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 funnier. Funnier and funnier, funnier, the harder you laugh, the better you feel. Funnier, funnier, ten times funnier. Ten times funnier. The harder you laugh, the funnier it gets. The harder you laugh, the better you feel. Harder, harder, harder. Laughing, laughing, laughing. Funniest thing in the whole wide world. You can't stop laughing now. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. It's ten times funnier. It's one hundred times funnier. It's the funniest thing. It's the funniest thing in the whole wide world. The harder you laugh, the better you feel. The harder you laugh, it's a thousand times, a thousand times funnier. Rolling around in the chair laughing. It is just so much fun. It just keeps getting funnier and funnier and funnier and funnier and funnier and more and more and more hilarious. Now sleep. <laughs> loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp, and sleep. Loose and limp. <laughs> the message. If I came up to you and touched your shoulder and said, only person on the shoulder I'm touching, funnier, funnier, 10 times funnier, 100 times funnier, 1,000 times funnier, funniest thing in the whole wide world, 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times, absolutely like that. Sleep! <laughs> Turning it on is remarkable shows the ability to control an emotion, to tap into an emotional wellspring and turn it on. Very impressive. Turning it off is much more impressive. To be a thousand times funnier, a million times funnier, now sleep. Turning it off is much more impressive, much harder to do, to be in that emotional state and shut it down. You have more control over your emotions than you've been led to believe. During your careers, there are going to be times where you're going to be asked perhaps to do some public speaking. You may have to do some things where you get nervous or tense about it. If you spend a few minutes visualizing yourself doing it success successfully, you can control many of these emotional states that you feel that you are out of control of. Let me give you another example of that. In business, there's a famous maxim, never let them see you sweat. You ever hear that? one of the commercials or something, right? If you're going into a, a business meeting or an important appointment, you don't want to be nervous. You don't want to have perspiration. You don't want to have a jitteriness in your voice. You want to be cool, calm, and collected. A lot of people, however, because they are afraid they're going to fail or because they are nervous about it, reveal it subconsciously. They're very jittery in their tone of voice. They, be, they start perspiring. They move in a very jittery way. You control that more than you think you do. Let me show you what I mean by controlling visceral tension, visceral temperatures in your body. You're all concentrating perfectly now, going deeper, sleep. We're going to go just a little bit deeper. Sleep five, sleep four, sleep three, two, sleep do, down, 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 and one. And you know what? 
We're going to leave this room in a minute. I want you to imagine that I count backwards from three to one. When I reach number one, we're going to go out to the beach. And you saw what a beautiful day it is today. But you know what? It's gotten a lot warmer since we've been in here. Uh, the number one, I want you to imagine we're sitting out on the beach on a lounge chair. Now, you want to keep your eyes closed because you don't want to burn your eyes with the sun. But I do want you to sit up, sit back, and look up and just let that sun hit your face and get nice and warm and relaxed. Three, two, one. Eyes closed. Sit up there. We're out at the beach now. We're not schooling. We're at the beach. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful sunny day out here in Florida. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And you know what? It's warm as it could possibly be. It's hard to believe it's January here because the temperature's rising and you're right next to the beach and it's humid, 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 hot, humid, hot, humid, hot, and humid. Whoa, is it hot. You know what? It's about 93 degrees out here. You can't believe how hot and humid. Feel the heat getting hotter and hotter, hotter and hotter, hotter and hotter and hotter, more and more uncomfortable. Man, your arms are getting hot, your legs are getting hot, it's sticky and hot, hot and sticky. Your face, so hot, so sticky. Your hair, hair hot and sticky. Feel the heat. You know what? You need to cool off, so try to cool off. Fan your face, fan your face, fan your face, fan your face. Try to cool off. But the more you fan, it just keeps getting hotter and hotter. Fan your face, fan your face, fan your face. Fan your face. Try to cool off. Fan it faster, 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 faster. Fan your face, fan your face, fan your face, fan your face. Tell you what, I got something that'll cool you off. I got some lotion. Here, take some of this lotion. Take a wad of this lotion. Here, put your hand out. Take this lotion. Rub it all over your body. Take this lotion. Rub it all over your body. Rub this lotion in your body. Rub it all over. Rub this lotion. Rub it. Rub it. Rub this lotion in. Here's some lotion. Rub that lotion all over your body. Rub that lotion all over your body. Sleep way down deep. Loose and limp. Loose and limp. More and more relaxed. Take this lotion. Rub it all over your body. Take it. Rub it in your body. Now rub it all over your body. Rub it all over here. Some lotion. Rub that lotion. Rub it in. Rub it in. Wherever you rub it, it'll be nice and cool. Nice and cool. Rub it in. Rub it on your legs. Get it on your arms. Rub it in. Rub that lotion in. Rub it all over your body. Rub it all over. Get it all over your legs, your arms, your shoulders. Get it in there now. Rub it all in, you know, it feels nice and cool, nice and cool, nice and cool. Rub that lotion in, rub that lotion in, rub it all over your body. That's right, rub it all in. Beautiful. Hey, I'll tell you what, I don't know what was in that lotion. It must be sugar or honey or something, but it's starting to, att to attract those little gnats. Oh, you know those nasty little gnats that fly all around your face? Those gnats. Oh, they're on your arms now. They're on your Get them, get them. The bugs are coming. Here come the bugs. There's ants, ants on your leg, ants on your legs, ants on your Get rid of those ants. Get rid of them, get rid of them, get rid of them. Get rid of, oh, get rid of those ants. Ah, oh, get rid of get rid of those gnats now. Hey. There's one on your forehead. Smack it. There's one on your forehead. Smack it. Smack it. Smack it. Smack that forehead. Get it. Oh, you missed it. Smack it again. Get it. 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 Get that all over now. Smack that hand. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Now sleep. <clears throat> Deep asleep. Five, four, three, two, and one. Were you to actually do a biometric test, were you to take a little sensor thermometer and tape it to their hand and arm and look at their external temperature, you would see the average person up here has just raised their external temperature anywhere from three to five degrees, their visceral temperature. Now, most physicians will tell you that external or visceral temperature is an autonomic or an involuntary response. You're not really supposed to be able to do that. It is not uncommon to see some people up here on stage break out in perspiration. I mean, one guy the other day was just soaked through because in their mind they saw themselves out in the hot sun, their body responds exactly as if they were out in the hot sun, visceral temperature goes up. What's the opposite of that? Beautiful. You guys, you guys are concentrating perfectly, going deeper to sleep, deeper to sleep, deeper to sleep, deeper to sleep, deeper to sleep. Just a moment, we're going to leave the beach and we're going to go to the top of a mountain. When I reach number one, we're at the top of a mountain. That's right, we're at the top of a very high mountain. When I reach number one, three, two, and one, you're at the top of a mountain, top of a mountain, top of a mountain, and you didn't bring a jacket. You're at the top of a mountain, and it is cold up here. Oh, man, we're at the top of this mountain. It's freezing. Woo, it's freezing up here. It's shivering, freezing cold. The temperature's plummeting. It's getting colder. Colder, 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 colder. It's down below zero. Try to stay warm. Try to stay warm. Try to stay warm. Oh, it's freezing up here, shivering, cold, colder, 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 colder. Freezing, shivering, shivering, freezing cold now. Cold, colder, 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 colder. It's below zero. It's 10, it's 20 below zero. Try to stay warm, try to stay warm, try to stay warm, try to stay warm, try to stay warm. You know, I know something that'll keep you warm. Okay, when I reach number one and clap my hands, if you grab the person next to you and hold on as tight as you can, that'll keep you warm, but you gotta hold on real tight. Gotta grab that person, three, two, one, grab them. Grab tight, 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 tight. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on tight, tighter, tighter, tighter. Hold on nice and tight, nice and tight, 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 tight. And then sleep. 10 times deeper, 20 times deeper, 30 times deeper. Again. Oh, uh, you know what? Only the person whose shoulder is being touched, only the person whose shoulder is being touched. Where is she? Is she still over there out? 
forgot all about her. Would you put your hand? Only the person's shoulder is being touched. Would you touch your shoulder? Only the person's shoulder being touched. Eyes wide open. The count of five. One, two, three, revive. Eyes wide open. Wide open. Sit up straight in chair. One, two, three, revive. Eyes wide open. One, two, three, revive. What? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> What's your name, ma'am? Taylor, is it? Kayla, would you, you want to come up here for a few minutes? I'll, I'll show you some interesting stuff. I believe if you have to go there and up these steps and up around here, Kaylin. Now, please notice, Kaylin is an excellent hypnotic subject. I did not choose her. I don't know why what I missed or didn't pick up the signals. She probably does not think she is hypnotized or ever has been hypnotized, but she is clearly a very good subject. So let me show you a couple things. Kaylin, if you just walk through the front wall, you're fine. Sleep standing up. Sleep standing up. Nice standing up. Standing up. Standing up. Standing up. Nice and balanced. Standing up. Perfectly balanced. Sleep. Yeah, perfectly balanced. Just sleep standing up. Standing up easily. You, you are folks are compelled to leave. Is that correct? I mean, this is a lease. Pardon? Oh, I'll just wake them up and then we'll bring them back afterwards. Okay. Nice and balanced. Standing up perfectly. Nice and balanced. It's, it's, it's just a drill? Okay. Only the person whose shoulder I'm touching. Eyes wide open at the count of five. Eyes wide open at the count of five. Only the person whose shoulder I'm touching, but you find your name is Bob. B will be at the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes wide open. You are an excellent hypnotic subject. Have you ever been hypnotized before? I, I am very poor with names. You told me a minute ago, but I forget. What is your name? That's not what you told me just a minute ago. I asked you. You said your name. You're positive. Want, want to bet? Yes. Okay. Before we bet, do you have any really good friends in the room? Anybody? Who's your best friend in the room? Jennifer. Jennifer, where are you? Would you stand up, please? Would you tell this young lady what her name is really? Be honest with her. No, no, no. I think I know my own name. Are you a betting person? Yes. I got a bet you might be interested in. Okay. I'll bet you $100 that your name is not Bob. Oh, $1,800. Okay. Want to shake on it? Before you shake. How many, people, how many people in this room think her name is Bob? How many people think her name's Caitlin? <laughs> Everybody thinks your name's Caitlin. <laughs> Do you have a student ID with you or anything? Okay. In your purse? Would you mind if someone brought your purse up here? If your friend brought your purse up here? Do you mind doing that? If you would just do that and, and take your time doing it, okay? And only the person's shoulder I'm touching, only the person's shoulder I'm touching, eyes wide open, the count of five, still responding to the sound of my voice. One, two, three, four, five. Sit up straight, chair, eyes wide open. Hey, how you doing? Come on up here for just a second. How you doing? Sleep standing up. Deep sleep, standing up, nice and easy. Loose and limp, loose and deep. Standing up, nice and balanced. Loose and limp, loose and limp. Nice and balanced. Hmm. Only the, um, I'll get that for you in a second. Driver's license? Yeah. What's it say? Caitlin. So what's your name? Bob. Credit cards? What do they say? Caitlin. They say Caitlin. Caitlin Steve. So what's your name? Bob. You still want to bet a hundred bucks? You still don't think you're hypnotized, do you? No. Okay, would you do me a favor? Would you just take the seat over there that young lady had? Only the person showed on touching eyes wide open, one, two, three, five, up, eyes wide open. Would you stand over here just a second, ma'am? Are you hypnotized? Are you positive? Yes. App, would you bet on that? Yes. Good, sleep, deep sleep. Standing up straight, deep sleep, losing them. Eyes wide open, the count of five, forgetting the number seven. Number seven has disappeared from your mind. Eyes wide open, one, two, three, five. Uh, what's your favorite subject in school? English. Let's turn and face camera here for a second. Favorite subject is English, right? Are you, are you any good at math? Yeah. Can you count one to ten for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Do that real slow in your fingers. See what happens. How much is five plus two? 
Five plus two. How much is five plus three? Five plus four. Five plus four. Right. How much is five plus two? I'll give you I'll give you fifty dollars if you tell me how much five plus two is. Are you hypnotized? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Sleep. Wait, I need to sleep standing up. Sleep standing up. Losing now, Bob, you are definitely not hypnotized, right? You're positive? Absolutely positive? Let me explain what this is. This is a sleep gun. If you shoot people with this, they go into a deep sleep. But don't worry, I'm not going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot that exit sign over there, but it's going to hit the exit sign, it's going to ricochet off the back, it's going to hit that wall, then it's going to come straight at you and put you into a deep sleep. But you don't really believe that, do you? No. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? No. Want to bet the same hundred dollars? No. Okay. Well, let's see what happens, all right? Are you, are you absolutely positive you're not hypnotized? Yes. Good. Watch. Only the person whose shoulder I'm touching. Only the person whose shoulder I'm touching. Not too many people know this man, but about a year ago you went out and you got yourself a tattoo of a butterfly. That's right. Nobody knows this, but you have a tattoo of a butterfly. For the rest of today's presentation, whenever you see me touch my forehead, that tattoo is going to start flapping its wings. It's going to tickle like a son of a gun. Each and every time I touch my forehead, the tickling is going to get more and more noticeable. You have to scratch it or itch it. And each time I touch it, it gets more and more itchy. You have to scratch it or itch it whenever you see me touch my forehead. Eyes wide open. The count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes wide open. Now, five plus two is how much? You still don't know. Are you hypnotized? No. Absolutely positive? No. Still willing to bet on it? No. Well, you might not be. You know, I had this one subject once and she didn't think she was a... What's the matter? You okay? No. I was just saying I had this one subject. I can't remember what her name was, but she... What's the matter? Are, are you hypnotized? Sleep. Deep sleep. Sitting just like that. Sleep. Not falling over. Sitting just like that. Going deeper and deeper. Round of applause for these guys. They are amazing, are they not? Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. I want you all listen very carefully now. In just a moment, I count from one to five. When I reach number five, I want you all sitting up straight in the chair, eyes wide open, still responding to the sound of my voice, feeling fantastic in every way. Eyes wide open. The count of five. One, two, three, four, and five. Sit up straight in the chair, eyes wide open. Eyes wide open, sit up straight in the chair. A round of applause for these guys. They are great. Except these folks who just enjoy this so much. Odds what up in the count of five, one, two, three, four, five, sit up straight in chair. Hey, yeah, I'm getting a round of applause. These guys really, really are good. Okay. You are now seeing people that are in hypnosis. They are there right now. They're in a trance. Do they look like they are in a trance? Well, if if you look, you will see a few body signals that should tell you. First thing is you won't see a whole lot of extraneous body motions. They're not going to be shifting around too much. They're not going to be adjusting themselves in the chair. You get these very fixed eye stares. What are you guys laughing at? Hey. <laughs> Who up here thinks they're not hypnotized? I need a skeptic. You don't? You don't? You don't? You don't? You don't? Sleep. Wait. I need Who else doesn't think they're hypnotized? You don't? <laughs> sleep. 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 Sleep, wait, I need to lose some effort, relax. How you doing, guy? Sleep, wait, I need to lose some effort, relax. I'm sleep, wait, I need Loosen them, loosen them. You're all concentrating perfectly now. Deeper, deeper. Sleep. Wait, and deep. More and more relaxed. Dropping deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed. Why don't you all concentrate now? Count of five. Eyes wide open again. But the person sitting next to you, the person sitting next to you has the worst body odor you've ever smelled in your life. You smell fine. But the person next to you has the worst body odor you've ever smelled in your life. One, two, three, four, five. Sit them straight in the chair now. Oh, the person next to you has got the worst body odor you have ever smelled in your life. Woo hoo hoo! Is it bad? Oh man, I try to stay away, but it just keeps getting worse and worse, worse and worse, worse and worse, worse and worse. Let me give you a hand there. Can we dig up one more chair for this young lady or what's the matter? What's the matter with you guys? Who? Her? You, you know, I was talking to this young lady. Look, look.
What's your problem? Did you take a shower today? I don't think she smells bad. What about this guy? What's your problem? They both think you smell bad. Oh, bad news. Let me see. Let me... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. What's the problem? You know, I know what the problem is. The problem is you guys need to sleep. Wait, Andy. DD, standing up, sleep. Listen, listen, listen. Want to trade places with her? You don't? Sleep. Sleep. Wait, Andy. Five, four, three, four. Deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep. You think you're awake? Do you really? Sleep. Wait, Andy. Sleep, 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 sleep. Deep. More relax. Deep. Deeper. Ten times deeper. Twenty times deeper. Deeper, 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 deeper. More, more relaxed. Just keep going deeper and deeper until you awaken. Now, at the count of five, when you open your eyes, you'll find the person closest to you has the best smell you've ever smelled. This smell drives you wild. You love, 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 love this smell. You can't get close enough. The closer you get, the better you feel. The best smell in the whole wide world. The person closest to you has the best smell in the whole wide world. At the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Go get it. Whoa, the best smell you ever smelled in the entire life. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and sleep. Standing up, sleep, standing up, sleep deeply. Sleep deep, 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 deep. Loose limp, loose limp, but standing up. Loose limp, loose limp. You're all concentrating perfectly now. You're doing great. We're going to go deeper now. Five, deeper and deeper. Four, three, sleep. Very deep, very deep. Two, very, very deep. And one. Deeper and more relaxed. Deeper and more relaxed. Deeper and more. All concentrating perfectly. I want you to listen very carefully now. As I count from one to three, when I reach number three, you're all your favorite animal at the zoo. And it's, you are your favorite animal at the zoo. And it's feeding time. But here's the way, here's the way it works at the zoo. At the count of three, when you open your eyes, you're your favorite animal at the zoo. I am the zookeeper with the food, and the animal who makes the loudest noise and gets the most attention is the one who gets fed first. You're all dying of hunger. You're all really, really hungry. You're your favorite animal, but you've got to make the noise. You've got to get my attention, or somebody else gets fed first. Let that attention sink very, very, very deep in your mind. At the count of three now, you're animals at the zoo, and it's feeding time. One, two, three. Eyes wide open. Eyes wide open. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing? I don't hear anything. Oh. I don't know. I don't, what's what's, what's probably what's, what's, who's hungry? Who wants some food up here? Who wants some food? Uh, it's feeding time. Who wants food? Who wants food? Anybody? Who's hungry? <laughs> In his dreams. <laughs> oh, I can't tell. Who's, who's, who's really hungry? You guys are ten times hungrier. Oh, oh, well, really? Okay, I'm gonna give you all some food. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Eat up now, eat up now, eat up now, eat up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Beautiful. And now you're all really tired and just want to sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. Deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep. Loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp. You two are playing off each other, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Sleep. Loose and more and more relaxed. Loose and limp. These friends are talking to each other about it. Loose and limp. More and more relaxed. Any questions about anything you are seeing? You've noticed now that we have been able to alter olfactory senses, have people smell things that aren't there or certainly change the way they smell things. We've been able to alter their temperature or the way they perceive the temperature around them. We've been able to all alter what they are seeing and what they are visualizing. Want to see a real alteration of vision? You're all concentrating perfectly now, going very, 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 very deep asleep, very deep asleep, very, very deep asleep. Count of three when you open your eyes. First thing you'll notice, everybody in the audience is taking their clothes off. Boy, everybody in the audience is naked at the count of five. Totally naked at the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Sit straight, your eyes wide open. Everybody's naked. Do you mind scooting up, trying to fill in that gap, if you don't mind? If, let's see if we can get a little, would you mind scooting up there for just a little bit? They're totally naked, man. What the heck? <laughs> 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 
Would everybody in the audience mind standing up for just a minute, take a bow? There we go. <laughs> all right. Now, if you guys mind sitting, you can all sit down. If you guys mind sitting down, you guys are a lot of fun. I got to tell you. But you know something? If you, oh, what? What are you doing facing that way? What? Who was naked? Those people were naked? Really? Would you all look at me for just a second? Take a deep breath. Nice deep breath. Beautiful. Sleep! Ten times deeper now. Twenty times deeper. Thirty times deeper. Deep, 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 deep. Beautiful. At the count of five now, what you discover, everybody always has to put their clothes back on, but at the count of five, you're naked. At the count of five, you're naked. Not only are you naked, not only are you naked, but your butt is stuck to the seat of that chair. Your butt is stuck to the seat of that chair. Stuck like glue to the seat of that chair at the count of five. You're naked. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes wide open and whoa. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sleep. Round of applause. These guys are great. Round of applause. These guys are great. You guys are all exiting all great now. All exit. Deep sleep. Deep sleep. Loose and limp. Deep sleep. Loose and limp. Deep sleep. Loose and limp. Loose and limp. Loose and limp. Loose and limp. Loose and limp and relax. You're all concentrating perfectly now. Doing beautifully. Deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed. More and more relaxed. More and more relaxed. More and more relaxed. Only the person whose shoulder I'm touching. Only the person whose shoulder I'm touching. The count of five. Eyes wide open, you'll discover there are marbles in your mouth. Your mouth is filled with marbles. Every time you try to talk, nothing but gibberish comes out. The count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Sit up straight in your chair, eyes wide open. Hey. How you doing, sir? What is your name? I'll give you, I'll give you, give you 20 bucks to tell me what your name is. Well, you keep trying, okay? You're all concentrating perfectly now. Going very deep, very deep, very deep, very deep, very deep, very deep asleep. Very deep and very relaxed. Only the person's shoulder I'm touching right now at the count of five. You are a Martian, and you speak Martian fluently. In fact, it's the only language you speak. At the count of five, you are a Martian. You speak Martian fluently. One, two, three, five. Sit down straight your eyes wide open. How you doing? What's your name? Your name is... Where do you live? Does anybody understand? Does anybody understand what this woman's saying? Does anybody understand what this woman is saying? Sleep. <laughs> Only the person whose shoulder I'm touching, you understand perfectly because you speak Martian. You are a Martian interpreter at the count of five and you understand everything she's saying. Eyes wide open, one, three, five. Hey, what is your name now again, ma'am? I'm sorry. Does anybody up here understand what this woman is saying? You do? Would you come on up here and help me for just a second? What's your name? Ask her what her name is. <laughs> you speak English too, right? You can interpret for me. What, what, what is she saying? She said her name is Baba. Oh. Would you ask her where she lives? Baba. Baba. What, what's her address? Uh, would you ask her what her phone number is? Are you sure? Yeah. Ask what she does for a living. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you very much. That was very, very helpful. Thank you very much. You can have a seat, but thank you. You guys are all doing great. Are you hypnotized? Yeah. Are you absolutely positive? Yeah. Good. Sleep. Way down deep. 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 Only the person's shoulder I'm touching. Only the person's shoulder I'm touching. 
At the count of five, you'll open your eyes feeling wonderful, wide awake, but for the rest of the day, whenever you hear me and only me say the word success, whenever you hear me and only me say the word success, you're gonna jump up from wherever it is you are sitting, and at the top of your voice, you're gonna shout, Mrs. Gilbert is the best teacher I've ever seen. And you're gonna say it with all the enthusiasm, all the motivation, all the excitement. Remember that Mrs. Gilbert is the best teacher I've ever seen. And you're gonna say that more and more enthusiastically each and every time you hear me say the word success. Eyes wide open at the count of five, one, two, three, four, five. Sit in your chair. Are you hypnotized? All right. <laughs> How you doing? If you don't mind, I'm going to ask you again. Are you hypnotized? No. Do you plan on being a success when you grow up? <laughs> oh. What did you do that for? Do you like Miss Gilbert? Yeah. Really? <laughs> going to be a success? She's the best teacher I've ever seen. Good guy? Good teacher? Very interesting. Have you had her? Interesting. Why are you jumping and shouting at them? Are you going to be a success? Mrs. Gilbert is the best teacher I've ever seen. Come here. I need your help now. I want you to fold your arms, put your feet together. I want you to stay still. I don't want you to make any noise, move around, nothing. I need you to be very, very quiet, okay? Just for, and if you can be very quiet for the next 10 seconds, you'll be a great success. Want to try to make some money? I'll give you $100 if you can stay still. Just still for 10 seconds. You get in any position you want, nod your head when you want the 10 seconds to start. And I'll give, I swear, I'll give you $100 if you can stay till, still for 10 seconds after you nod your head. Fair enough? Yes. Good. Success! <laughs> We're going to do something a little bit different now. We're gonna make a bet. This is different. Before I was just gonna give you hundred dollars if you could stay still, I will bet you a hundred dollars that you cannot stay still for ten. That's the wrong hand, but I'll, I'll shake it anyhow. You want to shake on that? Yeah. You think you can stay still? Yeah. Now understand what you're doing. If you lose this, if you start jumping around and shouting something about Ms. Gilbert, you will owe me a hundred dollars. The deal is gonna be when you nod your head to signal go. I got a ten second clock, and if you can stay still for ten seconds, it's a hundred dollars. But if you move and jump around. You owe me a hundred dollars. Is that fair enough? Yeah. You sure you can do this? Yeah. You want to do this? Yeah. Alright, well then you, you start the clock whenever you want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, success! Mrs. Gilbert is the best teacher I've ever seen! Jeez. You came close, but you didn't exactly do it. What did you go jumping around for? I, I said I would give you a hundred bucks. What's that all about? We still don't have a chair for you, do we? I'll tell you what, we'll make a chair for you. Turn around for just a second. Let me show you a neat little trick here. Sleep, way down deep, 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 deep. Now this next phenomenon, you can only do with the very deepest hypnotic subjects. It is known as a negative hallucination. It is truly quite fascinating. Only the person who's short on touch to the count of five, you'll discover that you and I are the only people up on the stage. I've sent everybody else back to the audience, and you and I are alone up here on the stage. At the, the rest of you, at the count of five, sitting up straight in the chair, eyes wide open, but still responding to the sound of my voice. One, two, three, four, and five. Sitting up straight in the chair, eyes wide open. What's your name, sir? All right. We'll look over here for just a second. Yep. This young lady here is an extremely good hypnotic subject, but she just doesn't think. What's what? This woman right here. She's a good subject, but she doesn't. Right here, this woman doesn't think she's. Right here, this woman here was just talking in Martian. She was just the Martian. What's that? There's a. Take a look. There's a whole bunch of people here. They're all sitting. Now, why don't you guys raise your hand? Why don't you tell her you're sitting here? No. Well, here. See. The problem you and I have had is that up till now, I had all these subjects up here and there was no seat for you. That's why I kind of had to put you on the floor. I apologize for that. But it, is there really, take a look. Is there really no one else up here? Well, why don't you just go take that chair right over there. Does that chair feel right to you? Comfortable. Comfortable? Well, do you mind taking this one so that we're kind of facing the group here? <laughs> that feels right to you? It does? 
Now, I want you to turn around. Just turn around like, just like this. And I want you to look at this gentleman right here. This is, this is a friend of mine. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Look. Look. Right there. He, he's right there. Looks right there. Are you sure? You can stand up. Are you positive? You are absolutely positive. You want to bet another $100 on it? Sleep. Wait a minute. Sleep standing up. Give a round of applause. That's amazing. That is called... A negative hallucination, not seeing something that's pretty much right before your very eyes. Of course, some of you walk around the house looking for your car keys and they're in your hand. Some of you run around looking for your pen and it's in your hand or your eyeglasses that are up on your head. The ability to tune something out. Any questions for any of these folks that you see up here at all? Any questions at all? Yes, ma'am. I don't know. Why don't you ask them? Go ahead. We better get, we better get her out of this Martian mode, don't you think? Sleep, 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 sleep. Count of five, count of five. Wide awake, three spot inside of my voice. No longer a Martian can talk English. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Sit up straight in chair, eyes wide open. Now, I'm sorry. Now you can ask her. What's her first name again? Brittany? Brittany, are you hypnotized? Are you positive? Absolutely positive? Good, because your chair's on fire. Woo-hoo! What's the matter? Come here. What's the matter? Come on over here. What happened? The chair what? Is what? The chair's really hot? Well, feel it. It's not hot now. See if you can sit down now. Check it out. It's okay. Sure. <laughs> when I reach number one, it's not on fire anymore. Three, two, one. Boom. Back to normal. Try now. Are you hypnotized? Did, did you happen to watch when I shot the sleep gun and I put that one woman to sleep who didn't think she was hypnotized? Did you happen to see that or hear that or be aware of it? It was a neat little thing. I shot her with a sleep gun she fell into a deep sleep. That's what this is, a sleep gun. You're wide awake, right? You're sure, right? This isn't going to work on you, right? Right? Sleep! Deep sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. You're all concentrating perfectly now, going deeper, deeper, deeper. You too, friend. I should, I should have pulled you two apart before. Sleep! Wait a minute. Sleep, 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 sleep. I want you all to concentrate now. In a moment, I count from one to five. When I reach number five, I want you all to imagine you're playing your favorite musical instrument. You are all musicians in an orchestra, and you are playing your favorite musical instrument. In fact, you can hear it clearly, and you're all playing because you are all perfect professional maestros. You are all playing the instrument perfectly at the count of five in the orchestra. One, two, three, four, five. Step straight in chair now, eyes wide open. Playing your instrument. Loving every minute of it. Yes, loving every single minute. I'm enjoying it. It is wonderful. You are professionals now. You are professional musicians and you are playing your instrument completely and perfectly. Wide awake. Whoop, wide awake. Stand up here for a second. Look at these guys. What are they doing? Check them out. Is that the strangest thing you ever saw? Isn't that unbelievable? What are they doing? Playing your instrument. Favorite instrument. Playing it. There you go. Eyes wide open. One, two, three, five. Oh, wide right open. I want, to see, I want to show you something. Turn around here. Take a look. What are all these guys doing? You guys can close your eyes, but keep playing your instrument now. Close your eyes, but keep playing your instrument. More, 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 more. Eyes wide open. Why is it? What are these guys all doing? Isn't that pretty strange? What do you think they're doing? Do they? Well, you suppose she's playing over there. She's playing a what? Her elbow. She's playing her elbow. Hear that music now. You're enjoying it, enjoying it, enjoying it. Really silly, right? Eyes closed playing your instrument. There you go. There we go. Playing and enjoying it. Having a great old time. Yes, and enjoying everything you're doing now. Enjoying your eyes wide open. One, three, five. Oh.
Wake pose. Stand up here for a second, sir. Take a look at these guys. Have you seen anything like that before? No. What are they doing? They look like they're playing instruments, but they don't have any. Do you think you would ever do such a thing? Probably not. Would you bet on that? No. Take, take one last look. Eyes closed, playing your instrument. Whoa. <laughs> And if you are standing, sleep standing up, but sleep. Deep sleep. Sleep standing up and relax. Give them a round of applause. These guys are great. <laughs> Wonderful hypnotic subjects. Somebody's having too good of a time here. Sleep. 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 Oh, drop down. Ten times. Slow. Ten times. Twenty times. Thirty times. Deeper, deeper, deeper. More and more relaxed. More and more relaxed. Loosen the Hey, how you doing here, Slick? Feel okay? You think you're out of it? Good, sleep, lay down. More and more relaxed, more relaxed. A round of applause, these guys definitely deserve it. They are excellent. Any questions, anything you're seeing? Yes, sir. I'm sorry? I don't care. Uh, who's Jay? Only the person with the pink shirt, Jay. Eyes wide open, the count of five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm so sorry. What's... I missed that, I apologize. Oh, I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm going to sit up here for a second. They got a couple questions for you. You have a question for us, sir? What is it? Hey. What's up? Jerry, bro. What's going on? We going to bonfire tonight? <laughs> is this a friend of yours? Yeah, I'm a boy. He's, he's a good guy? Sleep. Wait, I need to sleep. At the count of five, the guy you were just talking to is the most attractive woman you ever saw in your life. <laughs> the most single, most attractive woman you've ever seen in your life. You're going to start hitting on this guy big time. Can't believe how attractive he is. Eyes wide open. Whoa! Why? Hey, who's that? Who's that? I think they said his name was Jake. Jake? Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, I know. That's, that's a girl. Is it? Describe it to me. Uh -oh. <laughs> Nice, man. Nice, man. Nice. Hey. Well, if you want, uh, you know, just be careful. Getting, you want to go? If you, I talk to her? Yeah, you just be very careful getting off the stage here. Eyes wide, one, three, five. Oh, well, you can sit down in your chair and get comfortable if you like. Put a seat right there. Eyes wide open, one, two, three, four, five. Sit, 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 eyes wide open. You can go back and sit in your chair and get comfortable if you like. Eyes wide open, one, two, three, four, five, wide awake. And you can sit back down in your chair if you like, get comfortable. There you go. And eyes wide open, one, two, three, four, five, sit in your chair. You can get comfortable if you like, sit in your chair. I need you back up here again. <laughs> oh my goodness. You, can have a, you lost your seat. I, if you don't mind, I gave your seat away to that young lady. She had been standing for so long, I just wanted to give her a break. You don't mind that, do you? Sleep, wait, Andy. Deep, 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 deep sleep. Eyes wide open. Count of five, eyes wide open. You remember everything you just did, and boy, you're going to be surprised when you remember everything. One, two, three, five, eyes wide open. Oh, shit. <laughs> if if I saw correctly, you kissed this guy in the cheek? <laughs> Are you hypnotized? You're positive. Uh, sleep, wait, and deep, loose limp, deep sleep, more and more relaxed. More and more relaxed, loose limp, loose limp, loose limp, loose limp. Eyes wide open to the count of five. But you'll discover you can't lift your arms no matter how hard you try, you can't lift your arms. One, two, three, five. Oh, eyes wide open. Are you hypnotized? Can we do a real simple test? Would you lift your left arm for me? Would you raise your right arm for me? Keep trying if you can. Do you think you're hypnotized? Be honest. In fact, eyes wide open on the count of five. Everybody, wide awake. One, two, three, five. Wide awake. Wake, 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 wake. Wide awake. Slipped right out of your chair there, man. I'm sorry about that. If you guys don't mind, would you stand up for a second, scoot your chairs, make a line again so we can get you back in order here just a little bit? Clearly, these folks were all very good hypnotic subjects, but there is a point I want to make. 
if you interview them, you're likely to find that most of these people will tell you that not only are they not hypnotized, but that they don't think they can be. For example, who up here thinks they're not hypnotized right now? I, I really do need a skeptic. I mean, it, it, isn't that remarkable? That really, you can put your hands down. None of you think you're hypnotized, right? Well, the reason I brought you up here is I was working with these folks and everybody started laughing because you kind of went into hypnosis sitting out there in the chair. Do you remember doing that? You don't. And are you hypnotized right now? And you're absolutely positive of that, right? Positive. You're, I saw your glasses on the floor just a second ago. Someone, I saw them. There they are. Here's your glasses, sir. These are yours, right? Here you go. Here you go. Who wants these glasses? <laughs> Better take them, or I don't. If you, if you don't take them, I have to give them away. <laughs> How about we we just do that for a second? I tell you what, touch your forehead. Everything's back to normal. One, three, four, five. Oh, you can adjust them any way you want now. Now, how do you explain that, man? Do you feel like you're hypnotized? Okay, let's see. Wait a deep, wait a deep. Loosen limp, loosen limp, loosen limp, deep, deep, deep sleep. Loosen limp and relax. And I want all the way down. Deeper, more relaxed, more. Count of five when you open your eyes. <laughs> Count of five when you open your eyes. Feel very relaxed, very, very comfortable. Loosen limp and relax. Eyes wide open, count of five. And you are absolutely convinced that you are not hypnotized. However, whenever you hear me say the word hypnotism, you will shout at the top of your voice. I love math. And you will shout it with all the enthusiasm, all the vim. I love math. And you'll just shout out, one, two, three, five, eyes wide open. You dropped your glasses there, Slick, sorry about that. And again, I apologize for taking your seat away, but you wanna just stand over there for just a second? So this guy doesn't think he's in hypnotism. I don't know what you... <laughs> what the heck was that all about? At least, what's five minutes. Okay, well, if we only got five minutes here, I just wanna point out the last kind of message I want to share with you, most of these folks will tell you not only are they not hypnotized, but I that they... <laughs> They'll tell you they aren't and that they can't be, but clearly everyone you saw up here is, and a lot of them are going to be kind of surprised when they actually see the videotape that was made of it, but nonetheless, that's a lesson to learn. I'm going to urge you to take this message from the presentation and the talk I gave today. There are pictures in your mind. You all have a vision. Whether it's a positive, negative, or neutral, it is a vision. If you want to be more successful, I urge you to pick a goal that you really want to accomplish and start working on it in your mind. See yourself doing it. Spend a few minutes every day visualizing what you're going to look like, what you're going to feel like, how you're going to accomplish that goal. The more you visualize that picture, the stronger that picture gets, the more likely you are to see yourself move toward that image very good hypnotic subjects sometimes don't think they can be hypnotized. Now I've given Miss Gilbert a number of books and I believe there's enough in, for everyone in this room. If not, I will get her some. She's going to give you a copy of my book and in the book it talks about everything we did today. There are chapters in there. This guy is definitely in hypnotism. There are chapters in there on practicing hypnotism and self-hypnosis and, and how to get yourself into this state. <laughs> my email address is there, my website is there. If you have any questions, please feel free to communicate with me. Also, taking a number of pictures here today, I have a website, you'll see the website address on the book. I'm gonna post those pictures on that website later today. Is there anyone up here that objects to me posting your pictures on the website? If you do, I won't do it. Anybody have any problems with that? And, as you see, there's been a video made. I'll burn a DVD and send it to Mrs. Gilbert. What she chooses to share with you would be entirely up to her. But if you do want to see the pictures of today, go to my website if you have any questions. And everything we talked about, plus a lot more, is in the book. I urge you to read it and follow some of the chapters in terms of self-hypnosis. And... Now, I've got two minutes left. I've got to use my two minutes wisely. Sir, sleep standing up. Wait, Andy. There you go. For the rest of you, sit back in your chairs just one last time. I want to thank you all for coming up here. You all have been just excellent, wonderful hypnotic subjects. If you just look at me for just a second, take a really deep breath. Beautiful. And sleep. Way down deep. Deep. Loose and limp. Deep, deep, deep. Sleep. Loose and limp. Way down deep. Deep, 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 deep. Loose and limp. You are all concentrating perfectly. Okay, first thing we're going to do now, 
I'm going to count back from three to one, keep going deeper and deeper to sleep. I'm going to count back from three to one. But as I count backwards, I want you to erase all the suggestions I've given to you while you're up here. That's right. Everything's back to normal. Smells back to normal. Names are back to normal. Everything's back to normal. But still very, very deeply asleep as I count back from three down to one. All move three. Everything back to normal, but still very deeply asleep. Two, going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed. And one. Okay, we're all back to normal now. So now I'm going to give you a couple positive suggestions. In fact, the next thing I say is going to be the most important thing I say this morning. So listen very, very carefully. From this moment forward, from this moment forward, you and you alone are in control of this state of mind. I'm going to say that again. You control this state of mind. You are going to be able to take yourselves back into this state of mind anytime you want, any place you want. You're going to be able to give yourself suggestions. The suggestions that you give to yourself are going to be every bit as powerful as any suggestions that I could ever give to you. Remember that. You control this state of mind. Mrs. Gilbert's going to give you a copy of that book. As I said, if you follow the chapters on how to hypnotize yourselves, you'll discover you can quickly and easily return to this state and give yourself any helpful, productive, or positive suggestions that you wish. You control this state of mind. When you wish to get back into this state, you'll easily and quickly drop into an even deeper state, give yourselves any suggestions you wish to give yourselves, and be able to awaken yourselves easily and quickly by just following the instructions in the book. In a moment, I'm going to wake you up. And I'm going to do it by counting slowly from one up to five. And as I count from one to five, you are going to awaken totally. You will awaken completely. Your bodies will be refreshed, recharged, relaxed. In fact, you're going to feel better than you have felt in weeks. Totally alive, totally awake. Your thoughts will be clear, sharp, focused, and precise. You'll find that this afternoon and for the rest of the day, you feel fantastic in every way. At school, in the the classes, you absorb the material easily and quickly. You are going to have a wonderful day. When you wish to go to sleep tonight, you'll easily and quickly fall into a very sound, deep, natural sleep and awake tomorrow feeling even better. Let all that I just said sink very, 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 very deep into your subconscious mind. Really deep into your subconscious mind. So as I count from one to five and you awaken, you awaken feeling wonderful, refreshed, invigorated, relaxed, and focused. One, you're starting to wake up now. Feel it. Your legs are waking up again. Your body's waking up. Waking, 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 waking. Two, your body's waking up. Your arms are waking up. Your face, your head waking up, sitting up straight in the chair now. Three, sitting up straight in the chair, eyes opening, 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 sitting up straight in the chair, your focused and clear and sharp and precise. Four, totally, totally wide awake, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. And five, all of this applause is for you guys. You guys were pretty wild. (laughs) My hat is off to you. You guys were wonderful. Okay, now, just real, real quick, and then I'm out of here. Real quick. Ma'am, how long do you think I'm up here? Minutes? Take a guess. If you had to take a guess, what would you say? How long do you feel you've been up here in minutes? Five minutes. How long for you, ma'am? Twenty. How long for you? Just, just about fifteen. Fifteen. That's called hypnotic time distortion. If you get tranced out in front of a TV program, you ever see how an hour-long program? Do you guys got to go? Take the book from Miss Gilbert. Check my website. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later. I really appreciate it. You guys were wonderful. Shouldn't have put you two together. Thank you very, very much for everything. You guys were just wonderful. I appreciate it. you. Were-